Happy Monday, everybody. Um, last week, I think it was last week, I showed you a couple of sketchbooks or ledgers. And then I showed you some books that I used as sketchbooks and ledgers that were picture books or colouring books. Today, I just thought I'd share a couple of gridded notebooks. And I think I've done a video, I don't know which video it was, but in the video, whether it was for my class or not, I can't remember, I said gingham was your friend. And gingham was your friend because all your lines are there. Your squares, everything's squared off, all your lines are there. You can get straight lines without any problem whatsoever. Especially if you're like me and you're just incapable of drawing a straight line. Um, even with measure measuring things. Um, so, gridded notebooks. Just a brief look. So, this is one. Now, this these pages are folded. And the folding is easy because you think, right, I need to fold to that line up there. And your line's there, so you can line it up straight and fold it. The same coming down this way. So, even though that isn't straight, you can count in nine ten squares from the left and fold there and if you've got something that needs to be folded exactly the same every alternate page then the lines are amazing i mean you could have a normal sketchbook i guess and put little marks where you need to fold but for me this just works perfectly and these are some that are folded ready for whatever comes next um so yeah so that's that one and the other thing about these so it's patterned here and here and stitched and it continues underneath it's just a really nice method of recording information and maybe design ideas or colors and shapes and things and that as well that one doesn't really go underneath apart from there um, and then this one, and what else was I going to say? Something else? Oh yeah, I wouldn't paint in these. These are only 80 GSM, which is wouldn't take liquid really. It would buckle. Um, so I wouldn't paint in these. I don't paint anyway. I don't like painting. Um, but you need a minimum 140, 180 GSM before you put any kind of liquid on paper. And this isn't that, so I wouldn't paint in these. Uh, but and the, anything thicker might be difficult to fold as well. That's another thing. But they take stitch beautifully. Um, not a problem with stitching into them. And the other thing as well. So you need a straight line of French knots, say. Or, the, or cross stitch. Well, then it's there, isn't it? Your lines are there. Um, there is one with French knots somewhere. There's chain stitch down there that continues. And continues up there. Because your lines are there. Um... Oh yeah, French knots down there, and then down there, and also down there. So just try a little bit of stitching on a gridded notebook. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this one, I think we've seen this. I'm not sure. But so gridded this one, this is freer. This is a lot freer than the last one. It, it's more organic, I guess. But putting these little cards in, you line them up on your line. Simple, easy. Here, stitching bits of fabric in, just line it up on your line. Patchwork, line it up on your line. Then you've got the disturbed lines of ripped paper, obviously, that you don't do that. But these little things on the edge, you line them up on the line. It just, it just makes life so much easier. Um, this one, drawing out on the line like patchwork, putting your lines in. And then your little tags with the thread on. It's dead easy to get them in a straight position. This one's more organic and this one isn't finished. But the lines aren't applicable there because they're just torn pieces put in. But the patchwork pieces here, just line them up. It's not, honestly, it's a doggle. It's such a doggle. Get yourself a gridded notebook. Oh, that nearly went on the floor. This one is called a grids and guides notebook. Um, and I do quite a bit of this on my blog. If you search, I don't know if... I've got grids and guides tagged on the right. I'll have to have a look, but then, no, I don't know. If it is, then click it. On the right, there's categories on my blog. Um, but I do tend to put these on my uh, on my blog. So some of these pages are folded over. Again, the lines. The lines help. Some of them are cut. The lines help. Punching holes. The lines help. The lines are your friend. In the same way as it is with gingham. Gingham is your friend. The lines are your friend. Don't like that page. Let's skip over that one. That one's not finished. This one, this is my favourite. So cut a line there. Cut a bit off down the line. Cross stitch French knots. Cross stitch. 
beads, little bits of paper, beaded edge. And then here, so this was a page with circles on. The 26th, there was a, a campaign recently about miscarriage, okay? Um, and somebody very close to me had had a miscarriage around that time. And they're asking people to repeat something 26 times for the miscarriage association for sponsorship. So people would do 26 press ups or run 26 laps around a, a running track or swim 26 lengths. Well, I did 26 French knots. Okay, that was my thing for that. But so these are cut out, but underneath is stitched to correspond with this. And the lines help with this. I mean, although this wasn't lines, it was like a segmented circle. It's there for you to cut out. Grids and guides books are amazing. So that's that one. And then this side, folded. No, I mean, the lines really, that, that was a circle as well. But here, cut down the line, you've got a straight line. Cut down that line, you've got a straight line. Straight line for all your stitching. Straight line for all your beads, okay? Over here, straight line for your stitching, for your cutting. Straight line there. I mean, just crack on with your straight lines. This one, they're just so relevant. Um, it's getting quite full, this book, actually. But it's a nice book, I like it. Uh, that's as far as I've gone. Um, but yeah, so gridded notebooks. This one's Grids and Guides. I think these are about £14. I got it on Amazon. These ones are Fabriano. Um, and they're very, very inexpensive. They're £2, these big ones. But they don't do them anymore. I used to get them when I went to London and she said they don't sell them anymore. Which is heartbreaking. Because um, they're so useful. I've got loads of these. I use them for all kinds of things. So and this one is a Fabriano. So this one, I didn't want it this big. So I cut it. Just let me hide that bit of paper. I think I'm going to take that out, actually. I don't like it. So this was one of these that I just cut, cut some off it to make it narrower. I wanted it narrower. Um, so then they're Fabriano, but like I say, they don't do them anymore. Unless somebody's got old stock, I don't think you're going to be able to find any of them. But never mind. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that.